Hello, my friends. I am now sitting in the apartment where I have been living for now a year in this room uh, that I have uh, been renting for a year. And I am in a very, very important crossroad when I have to leave this, this room and this apartment. And I have no idea really where to go next. So I want to give you a little back date. I am r right now sitting amongst, um, I have packed all my stuff, as you can see, my bags and furniture and everything basically that I, that I own is are in these boxes and in these suitcases is basically everything I own. And um, the situation is this, that, uh, uh, we have been evicted from this apartment where I live. Here in my hands I hold a notice of uh, eviction that uh, we have to, to move out on the 31st of um, January uh, this year due to the fact that they are tearing down or they are um, uh, either tearing down or making a complete restoration, uh, reconstruction of this um, apartment and everybody, all, uh, all the tenants have to move. Uh, I have been searching for about six months now, all the possible ways to get an own uh, apartment and to continue the processes in the city of Umeå, where I live. Because here in Umeå, I have gotten the possibility to start a, a psychological uh, work, psychological investigation of my of my work possibilities of my poss uh, uh, So uh, I and I really really rely on the, on them. I have got a very good um, community in the. Uh, both in the um, community of N NPF people, Asperger syndrome and uh, uh, ADHD, and uh, also in the community with people who have very tough economical circumstances, and we go and uh, we can go and eat for free on, on this uh, local shelter restaurant where I also vo voluntarily worked during the autumn. But still, for, for the last months, I have been doing everything in my power to find a new place to live, to find a, an, a, hopefully a, an apartment of my own or anyhow a, um, a room that can fit in. Uh, not only my boxes here, but only, uh, also I, I, I want to fit in this uh, bed, uh, sofa, uh, this... Um, uh, these stuff and the tables and a little, I mean, basically everything I have in this, in this, in this room, bookshelf, shelves and uh, all the stuff here I, I want to, to, because I have been able to take them over from, uh, or, or, and, and also bought them uh, from the friend here that I have been living with. But the crossroad right now, it's more about what you can call an, um, what kind of identity I am forming. And that is very important because most people, they view my situation as completely hopeless. They view me as, okay, you have so little money to live on. You, you, uh, you, you have really no serious contacts in this city. Uh, you have been denied everything you have searched. Uh, and uh, the only option would be to either live as a more or less homeless person and live and uh, live on uh, like social welfare and these uh, shelters for, for homeless people. Or go back to Stockholm to live with my sister or my mother and start all over again. And uh, I have really been 
thinking about these options. And I have come to the conclusion that either one of them, either one of them, neither one of them is uh, an acceptable option for me. Uh, so you may think, but what shall you do then, Elias? What shall you do then? You have tried everything. You have searched all the contacts you have. You have done basically everything in your power to find uh, either an apartment or a, or a, or a room that is uh, not furnished and where you can take in your stuff. And I say, yes, I have. And I, and, I, and I also want to tell you that even though I've been neglected from many, from the most parts I have already in my mind before that said that I won't take it. Because this is a question also about self-worth. It is a question about self-worth. And uh, I believe that if you don't just settle with uh, the most obvious, if you don't settle with uh, what you can see in front of your eyes, but you have a higher purpose, then universe or life itself will help you. And I am very sure and very obvious that I am exactly on that step in my life. Uh, yesterday, I had a meeting with, a, uh, with an assistant from the social welfare system. And she showed me all these papers that I had to fill in and show my income and show all my, my bank accounts and show everything I have earned and everything I have done and everything I'm living with and, and, and their incomes. And I just thought, no, 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 no. This is a too high price to pay for freedom. This is too high. I mean, I and they said they can they can provide me some kind of social shelter in, in the in the best case, but that would would also mean that I am completely controlled and live on social welfare and and <clears throat> what I'm feeling right now, I won't take it. I won't take it. I I have two weeks left now. I have two weeks to fix the situation. And uh, with God's help, and with the help of life itself. And with the help of my inner strength and my belief and my uh, I see this as just testings these these uh, everything that people are like telling me that your only op option is a uh, uh, is a is, is a home for uh, for uh, for homeless people or go back to your sisters and your mother in Stockholm and uh, and skip everything you have built up here in the city of Umeå no I won't do it. I won't do anything of that. I won't. Uh, under these two weeks, I am telling you, my friends, I'm going to find an apartment here in this city in Umeå. I am. I am going to find an apartment, an empty apartment where I can fix all my, fit, fit in all my, my stuff. And I even think it is possible that it will be in my name. An apartment in my own name. In my own name, I believe that is possible. So, uh, no matter what all the social welfare workers tell me, no matter what all people are telling me with their uh, uh, with uh, with a very narrow-minded or restricted mind or only logical thinking, it doesn't matter. I won't take it. I won't do it. I won't go to. I won't go to Stockholm to live with my. Uh, uh, my mother and my sisters. I won't do it. I have done it. And I cannot go abroad again. I have tried that, that, that also. I know there is a... I could, for example, try to go to uh, Seged, Hungary, where I've been, and uh, I have friends there. Yes, but I have tried that too. But the, 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 first of all, we have a pandemics. They wouldn't even let me in, probably. Before I have a vaccination and a quarantine and you know I God know what if it even is possible, and the second, uh, it would be it, it would be exactly the same situation as it was one and a half year ago and uh, and uh, and two years ago when I tried. I would live like on four hundred euros a month. I would have absolutely no security. I would. It's a wonderful city. Yes. 
but I am not there yet. I have to stabilize my income. I have to, I have to get a little more stability in my in my income and and in my in my ground before I can do that. I won't leave again with so little money that I did last time. I I, I can't do it. I love you all, my friends. That there, I you know it. I miss you so much. But I won't go there and be depending on you and everybody else. I won't do it. I won't do it. I mean, it's uh, I want to go there with, with my own money, with my own security, with my own ground. So, under these two weeks, my decision is that I'm going to find an apartment here in this city of Umeå. And I'm going to continue this process of work habilitation to know my... Uh, to know how I can contribute to the society or, or if I am entitled to any m- more kind of uh, uh, sick pension or, or, or whatever, or what is, what is best for me and, and, and what I am uh, capable of. I will do it. Uh, so this is my update and uh, take care, all of you. Bye.